TLO, what's poppin'? We are on kick. We're live right now, so you can come join us if you want. It's going to be a short stream, but it's going to be at least an hour, maybe an hour 30, but you can come join us if you want. If not, that's cool. Just leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Um, we also, don't forget, we got the Patreon. Just uh, double uploaded today and yesterday. I'm all caught up, allegedly. Uh, we uploaded Only Fools today, and we uploaded Fresh Meat today. Tomorrow we start a new show, Sherlock. I'm actually excited about that. I'm going to watch that tonight, actually, and then post it tomorrow. Because my daughter is back. I'm on a different schedule now for posting and uploading and things of that nature. So, you know what I'm saying? If you aren't, sub up, man. I mean, come on over, man. Uh, also, we got the Discord. The Discord plays a vital role when we're on kick now because everybody can't send me a link in the chat no more. You got to send links on Discord. So, you know, get in tune with that. All of this stuff is in the description below, by the way. Um, it's a it's a link down there. It's called Linktree. Click it. Everything will pop up. You get me. I don't know if this is going to turn me off to black pudding, but I like black pudding. This is insider's food, insider food. How black pudding is made in England. Regional eats. I had to, I had like, I like black pudding. That's all y'all gotta know. I'm a fan. I'm not a fan of Marmite, Marmite or English mustard though. It depends what the English mustard is put, put what, what are we putting it on? Anyway, I just wanna see if this is gonna turn me off to it. We're in Bury, Lancashire, England, and we're about to visit a black pudding company. Black pudding is that one item in an English... I'm, I'm going to let y'all know it's not looking too attractive right now. This breakfast plate that you either love or hate. Why? Because it has blood in it. But it is also yeah. that one item that has the most history, especially here in Lancashire, which is known for being the county that brought it to fame. So it's time to see how it's made. Let's go. In Bury, we met with Richard Morris, production director at the Bury Black Pudding Company. His grandfather was a butcher, and it is his black pudding recipe that the company uses today. I'm not gonna lie, it, it looked like it looked like pressed, lengthy, lengthy tubs of boo boo. It don't look too appetizing like this. People have this idea of black puddings. It's all bits, bits of animals and stuff. There's no meat in the black pudding. Uh, there's, there's no meat in black pudding? Huh. There's blood in the black pudding, but there's no meat. It's cereal based. Black pudding starts with a dry mix of pig blood, seasoning, rusk, and oatmeal. And when we say dry, we mean this. Well, Seriously? It's like a handful of sand. <laughs> yeah, you'd never guess. It's actually a, a dried blood. So if you smell that, what yeah, would you, what? it just smells like herbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah it smells yeah. like the seasoning. Yeah, the seasoning. No so you can't even smell it. No, no. Any, any no, no it's, a, it's a nice aroma, and we use dry blood because it's very, it's it's got to a, a certain parameters, so it's very safe, food safe. What is the difference yes. with uh, with like liquid blood? Um, it's much more consistent using fresh blood that can change with different animals what they've been fed on. So this is very consistent product, which fits what we do. We also have... Okay, so the way y'all be making it sound is like, oh, it's blood in there. Like actual... It, it, it's still actual blood, but it's like dried up blood. It's heavily... It's heavily watched over and, and, and strict, strictly guidelined blood. You get me? Rusk, then, which is breadcrumbed flour, used, oh. used heavily in uh, man, uh, manufacture of sausage. That's mm -hmm. what gives sausage a, a fluffy texture. Oh, I see. And we also have uh, oatmeal as well. Oh. So oatmeal that's been ground. Oatmeal, okay. I knew oatmeal was in there. I could, you could kind of taste the oatmeal. So it's a fine oatmeal. Um, and that, that, again, if you added water to that, it would go a bit stiffer. So the two together make a nice texture. Oh, so yeah, because they complement. Hope his hands yeah, clean. Exactly. Yeah. I think heavily in England, especially north of England, anything that's got lumps in it, you got to bite two or three times. They call it gristle around here. <laughs> Chorizo and that sort of sausage are quite firm. That's more European. Around here, uh, especially north of England, it needs to be soft and very palatable. Now this, this is OC. I'm not eating it like this. I and I like it, but like this, 
I don't know. It's too lengthy, first of all. That's too much. <laughs> that's too uh, cylinderic, whatever the word is. It's too much of a... It reminds me of too much of something else. Um, just give me the little circle. The little circles like this, flat ones. I'm good with that. Okay, okay. Really so that is yeah. a taste. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. Just, yeah, just there we go. Regional taste. Yeah. Another two ingredients are barley and fat. Unlike the rusk, oatmeal and blood, they will be cooked before being added to the dry mix. The barley itself comes in loose like this. Uh, when we cook it up in, in these, uh, leave room for it, nice. it, will, it will swell up to about three, four times the size. Oh, wow. It looks um, like a Christmas sock. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It does. <laughs> this is pork fat. No, it doesn't at all. Fat. So if you think of a pork chop, um, where the meat is, the white piece of fat there, um, this comes in from Denmark, where the fat, we have fatter pigs. In England, the, pig, the fat's like this, so we don't have fat pigs. So this white piece of fat comes in in strips, we have here. Oh wow! I didn't even notice. Yeah, that. yeah. It looks like textile. That's you know? it. Yeah. So we got a strip there. It, it's giving real McDonald's chicken nugget vibes. Uh, no, it doesn't and, look like meat. And then this goes through. <laughs> this is then diced. Oh. So this is the high quality. There is no lean meat on this at all. Um, so we're just after the fat. And this so, one is going to be cooked. Yeah. Yeah. We dice it on a machine. We wait into the stocking net again. So we Ooh, from here. Yeah, sock. We take it off. The pork part is turning me off right now. Like now this is the only nasty part that I need. From there. And we pop it into that. There you go. And this one is gonna shrink or Yes, it will just shrink slightly. Um, as it starts to give the moisture out of it and the flavour. Uh, the bar You sound like Rudy <laughs> from Misfits. Ali expands, this just reduces slightly. And one, one net is for one Into bite. a mix, uh, there's four nets going to a mix. Okay. Yeah, I'm giving you my recipe right now. Okay, good. <laughs> well, might have to write this down then. Yes, no, no, don't do that. Barley and fat are cooked for one hour. Meanwhile, onion and water are mixed in this giant container. Okay. When ready, they will be joined by the dry mix containing blood, oatmeal and rusk. And then there's a motor on here. Basically, it will just... It's like um, if America came out with a version of of, of, of uh, black pudding, I would stay far far away from it. I wouldn't trust it. I only trust the UK's version of black pudding, which is the only version for me. When you whisk something up, but it, this does it at four and a half thousand revs, so it just whisks it up really quick, and basically you rehydrate the product so you've got like a gravy consistency okay. where the dry blood's in it, the seasoning, in the rust. The oatmeal, the flour, the onions, and you've got your base mix there. Okay. Yeah. So wait, this one is the barley that you were showing me earlier. Yeah. Wow, and it's grown so much in size, you were right. Oh, yeah, wow. this is like... the barley you saw previously. Oh. If I pick one up, you'll see exactly the same. On there, see how it's swollen up. Now that's yeah. cooked perfectly. So this one is about, it was like two and a half kilos, so and yeah, now it it's, is? It's about two eight kilos now. Oh. We, we weight check it, so it's right. If that was, Overcooked to the 11, 12 kilos, we wouldn't use that. So Christmas sock. Okay, quality control. Before Christmas and Christmas sock after. Yeah, exactly. She's still on about the Christmas sock joke. See, if somebody would have let her know when she first said it, it wasn't funny, then she wouldn't be talking about it still. That's what I be trying to tell y'all when I do the music reactions. If I let you know it's trash right now, even though it's my opinion, you might do better next time. Yeah, exactly. Wow, it's like a gym test. I know, I can see you with a couple. <laughs> I'm shaking. And you can do like a lunge thing, no? <laughs> yeah. So I see something else in here though, there's not just barley. But this is uh, That's the fat. fat diced fats that we, sh we showed you earlier. Uh, again, this has been cooked up, if you notice it's not swollen up. Yeah. It's just cooked out and it actually loses a bit. We only use, in our products, only 3% fat. And those are the actual small white pieces you see in the end product. If you don't want to, the fat, don't. No, some of y'all have not watched Misfits ever. <laughs> but the guy from uh, This Is England, that was Dayton Lowell. That's who he sounded like. Small piece. Forgot his, his name. Fat. <laughs> so you can really skip it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Barley and fat are then added into the mix. Oh.
Wait, 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 wait. Fat is mixed gently, not a high shear. Do not break the dices. The mix is now ready. Now that is an after Taco Bell experience for you. This is crazy. Oh my. So brown. Yeah, it's like chocolate. Yeah, it does look like. No, like shit. <laughs> like chocolate is a stretch. Like shit is more accurate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. 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 It tastes a bit different to chocolate, yeah. but yeah, it's uh, not bright red or anything like that. People associate it with blood. It's a, it's a, it's a cereal mix with a blood base, so okay. uh, it's a chocolatey, a velvety sort of touch. Yeah. But the color comes comes from the uh, dried blood. Yeah, it like does. Yeah. Is, yeah, yeah. That's that, that, that's the main. It kind it kind of looks like cake. The mix, mix is stuffed in a natural casing made of beef intestine. That is super quick. So that's the intestine that's been filled out with a mix. This is a portioning control machine, like you see with sausage, uh, sausage film. You said, lol, I'll just love ya. Plus, yeah. And what it's actually doing, it's spinning the product. So it's it's doing that so quick. Oh, okay. You see from there. So that you can portion it. It's, and that's one portion that yeah. we then link to about pudding. There you go, so, nice. Uh, and it's always this shape, right? It's you always this have shape. It as a, just a and you can see with the linking, we tie that together with string there, and then there, and then there. Okay. I wonder if anybody at the factory just ever just takes a spoonful and just... And we use... This. That's disgusting. Even though it's the same, but it's like, texture is a real thing. Like. The texture just wouldn't line up for me. Yeah. String tied up. So one just been done here. Let's see. Oh, so you have a nice. So you've been uh, yeah. tied up. All the same, same weight, right through. Oh. And they're ready for cooking. Nice. Nice black color, no? Yeah. <laughs> you will see now when it goes in. I feel like. <laughs> I feel like, like an episode of Life on Tag. Somebody on tag works at this factory. Guarantee. And it's a greyish look and then it goes black after As cooking. After cooking. And then it's right. black pudding. So that's a very traditional process that we still teach that to this day. A uh, hundred year old process, maybe longer. Uh, it's tied together. The touch is smooth. Wow. Yeah, that is very smooth. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. smooth. Oh, honestly, there is no grains at all. No. It's just like when you pass your, silky, your yeah. hands through your hair. Yeah, yeah, it's silky, like that. silky smooth. Super yeah, smooth, yeah. that smooth. is. Yeah. Uh, what about the uh, casing? Are you the casing to can be eaten, it is edible, it's natural. Personally, I don't, I take it off because it's quite thick. It's probably the, the hardest to chew in the product. I like a nice, soft, palatable product. Yeah. So you can easily just peel it off? You can easily peel it off, yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. Right? User friendly. <laughs> <laughs> then the black puddings are cooked in water for about one and a half hours. Oh, one by one. Yeah. So that's raw black pudding. Okay. Yeah. You still got to cook it you like put this. Them in one go, basically, that has a core temperature. If you put them individual, you have to get in the water around it. So we have three or four minutes of loading the cookie time to get, get, get the, uh, the water around the product. Oh, the pudding, yeah. it's called a pudding because it's cooked immersed in water. That's enough. They're black now. Yeah, and as the air gets to them, so oh, wow. as they cool off, they go blacker and blacker. They get down to a temperature of about 40 degrees in about 10 minutes. And then I'm not even gonna lie, after watching this, I'm, I'm still gonna eat it, but I never wanna watch something like this again. <laughs> put the rack to cool. Two or three hours later. Look like eggplants. Uh, we're ready to pack them. So these are the black prunes that have been cooled. We just take them off the rack here, put them on the table, and then the staff here will cut the black puddings, cut the string off, and so they come in here so they're in single black puddings. Can I try? Yeah. <laughs> so that's just black pudding, <laughs> unlabeled, unpackaged. Unpackaged black pudding just chilling. Doesn't even look like, if you walked into the factory and seen that, you would not know it's black pudding. I don't care how much you eat black pudding. You walk in, you look like, what the hell is that? It look like horse hooves. Like, like, what is that? Yeah, yeah. Just look, Why do you lift it, it up? You best look at it both hands. Okay. You lift it. Oh, Ma'am! That's the texture of like a date. Yeah. You got one? Wow! Okay, okay. There you go. Oh. 
the color has changed quite a bit. Yeah. You know? So they've gone black. Slightly yeah. brown, yeah. Uh, they were very black to begin with, but it's just the cooling process. It just looks like my grandma's uh, chocolate salami. Yeah. <laughs> well, honestly. No offense to your grandma, but no thank you then if these are what they look like Please. her chocolate i can't really get my head around the fact that it's not chocolate i know i know so how do locals enjoy their black puddings we took a trip to the Bury black pudding company store at Bury market to find out i don't like the cut like why are they cutting it like this so here at Bury market you can actually just get black pudding as a takeaway food and yep. have it yeah you have been able to for years and years you can go away with a nice hot black pudding with a bit of mustard on or tomato sauce I'll take tomato sauce, not doing y'all mustard. Brown sauce. Brown uh, sauce. You can either have it just on its own or you can uh, take it away on a on a bat bread roll. Oh, okay, nice. nice. <laughs> so how long have you been here at the Bury Market? Uh, I've been here since I was 12 years old, so for 38 years. Wow. Uh, Hot black pudding, one pound, 10 pence. That's how you say it, right? I came as a Saturday girl working for a, a farmer who had, a, has, had the stall. My mum, my mum works on the stall, my nephews work on the stall, so some of the stalls opposite, you know, they've been uh, here for years. So it's family business. Family. What does black pudding mean to Bury especially? Because it is, it is used like all over England, but here specifically there is quite a strong black pudding like feeling and culture. Yeah, no? the story goes that the black pudding originated in Europe and the, the monks came uh, over to England and settled in Bury. Uh, so it's always traditionally been known as, as the capital of black pudding. No, oh, the season is so good. It adds flavor, but it doesn't overpower the rest. Yeah. Texture is that's, a, that's too thick for me. Oh, nice and creamy. I would never say that there's blood in here. But if I were to look at this, I would probably think it's just chocolate mousse. <laughs> so yeah, it's chocolate, chocolate cake. Sausage. Yeah. yeah, often when we're sampling, some of the children think it's chocolate cake. Yeah. <laughs> She out here in a fur coat. She's making sure she's staying warm. Well, if you haven't tried black pudding, I am an American and I've tried it. Does not taste like blood. It's actually pretty good. Make sure you cook it right though. TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post, I'm gone.